Hi guys, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be reviewing three different foundations for MAC. I'm going to be doing the MAC Studio Tech in NC35, the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC40, and then the MAC Studio Fix Powder in C40. So, um, the first foundation I'm going to start off with is the MAC Studio Tech, and I actually scooped out um, some of my MAC Studio Tech from the large compact into this little concealer palette that I have, because it's just easier for me when I'm getting ready in the morning to have all my different shades of concealer in one spot, because I don't use the same shade of concealer all over my face. If I have like dark circles under my eyes, then I'll use a different shade. If I have like a blemish, I'll use a different shade. So I just scooped out all the different types of foundation, I mean concealers that I use, and I have them in this little concealer palette. Um, this is actually an Annabelle concealer palette that I had from before, and I just um, cleaned it out. I sanitized it with alcohol and then washed it off and put in all my concealers in there. Um, the MAC Studio Tech I don't like that much. It's probably like my least favorite MAC foundation of all time. The reason why I don't like it is because it goes on a cream, but then, um, for me, once it goes onto my skin, it goes on a cream, but then it, like, kind of, like, goes away. It just, like, evaporates or something. Like, I don't know. It just, like, disappears, and, like, the coverage is gone, and I just, it just, like, washes me out for some reason. Like, I've tried blush, I've tried bronzer, I've tried everything with the Studio Tech, and it just doesn't work if I put it all over my face. So now what I do is I just use the Studio Tech under my eyes to get rid of, like, the dark circles. And it does a pretty okay job. Um, so out of 5, I would give it, like, probably a 3.5. Or, that's kind of high. I give it, like, a 3.2. Because it's just, like... I wouldn't buy it again, and the reason, the only reason I'm really even using, like, using what I have left is because I spent, like, 30-something Canadian on it, so I don't want that to go to waste. That's why I'm using it up, or else I really wouldn't purchase this again, and I wouldn't recommend it to anybody either. Um, the next foundation that I'm going to review is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC40. Now, this, on the other hand, ooh, whoops, this, on the other hand, I love because... The coverage from the Studio Fix Fluid, as we all know, is like the highest coverage that MAC has to offer um, in a liquid foundation. I think it's the highest coverage of any liquid foundation on the market next to um, the Revlon Color Stay. I had the Revlon Color Stay and I do like it, but the thing with that is it dries too fast and like it's hard to match up, um, you know, my skin shade because, you know, I do have olive undertones and yellow undertones. I am South Asian, so, you know, not a lot of the typical drugstore foundations match my skin tone a lot of the time. That's why I like MAC, because they do have a lot of nice NC shades that are perfect for someone like me. Um, I would give this, out of 5, I would seriously give it a 4.5, because the coverage is so buildable, it looks so nice, it looks so smooth, and it never, ever, ever, ever feels heavy on my skin. I don't even feel like I have anything on, honestly, when I'm wearing this. So I really, really love this. Plus, um, you can, like, pretty much find any shade of this foundation. Like, I'm pretty sure anybody will be able to match up to this shade because there are so many shades for this foundation. I gave it a 4.5 instead of a 5 out of 5 because it's like 30, I want to say $35 Canadian and it doesn't come with a pump and I mean like it's a liquid foundation so it should come with a pump and it doesn't and that's why I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 because, whoops, because I feel like, you know, considering like the amount of money you're spending on it, you know, like we deserve a pump and I don't want to pay like for something to get a pump from MAC. So that's why I have 4.5, but really, really, really good foundation. Please do try it out. Then I'm gonna talk about my powder, the fixed powder that I have. And I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like pretty much the exact color of my skin. Like if I put this on my skin, like somewhere, let's see, I'll just put it on my nose because I'm getting kind of shiny there. Like it just disappears into my skin like so nicely and that is why I love it and it really does suck up all my oil 
I mean, I only get oily in one spot, my whole face, and that's my nose. Like, not my forehead, not under my eyes, not my eyelids, nowhere except my um, nose. And the fact that this can this concealer, this foundation covers, like, the oil is, like, really nice because it looks kind of weird where my whole face is, like, dry and not oily. And then I have this, like, oil bud coming down my nose. So, I do like the Studio Fix Powder. Um, the only thing that I don't like, I don't know if it's just my compact or if you guys all have this problem, like, look at that, it's, like, really flimsy, can you guys see, like, it, it's, like, so flimsy, and I mean, you know, this is, like, high, this is so-called high-quality makeup, you know, I feel like it should be of better quality, the compact, and also, I think the sponge is kind of flimsy as well, because the... Studio Tech sponge is a lot thicker, and I know it's thicker because it's a cream, obviously you need a thicker sponge, but I feel like this would be, um, the application process would be so much quicker and so much better if the sponge was thicker. And I don't always use a sponge to apply the powder, I do sometimes, not always, it just depends on the kind of coverage that I'm wanting to achieve for that day. So, to recap, Studio Tech 3.2, Studio Fix Fluid. 4.5, would have given it a 5, it came with a pump. Fix powder, I don't think I've rated yet, but I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5, and I'm taking off one point because I know it's meant for people with oily skin. I don't have oily skin, so when I put this on, on my face, like if I put it all over my face, it looks kind of dry. It looks like really, it does kind of look like I got powder on, but there's nothing like a little buffing out and, you know, moisturizing and prep and prime underneath can't fix. So that's my spiel on all the MAC foundations. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned.